Okay, so up next, this is actually more of a food hack. So up next, we've got cooked broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. These are cruciferous vegetables, and these all have small amounts of the same chemical, but here's a very powerful hack that's gonna change your life. When you cook cruciferous vegetables, it loses the, the ability to produce the chemical that we just talked about, that, that anti-cancer chemical. But when you sprinkle mustard seed powder on the cooked cruciferous vegetables, you regain that really? ability to really? create that chemical. Mm. And not only that, it increases the bioavailability by fourfold. Over really? Fourfold, yeah. So you sprinkle this on it before you cook it? You sprinkle this on it after you cook after it. After you cook after it. After you cook it. So cook your cruciferous vegetables, sprinkle this mustard seed powder on it, and it turns them into powerful potential cancer fighters, which is amazing. And gives them Delicious. a little flavor. And it gives them a little flavor. kick. Yeah, it's, if you're worried that it's gonna make your vegetables taste like putting mustard on your vegetables, that's actually, it doesn't, it, it adds like a nice spiciness, but it's not it's gonna salty. taste like dipping, yeah, like mm -hmm. dipping your, your vegetables in broccoli. Yeah. And it, what I love about spices like this is, th this can, you can hang out in your cupboard, right? Organic mustard seed, I'm assuming this lasts, this, this says it's good for another two years, and that's probably at a minimum, so. Yeah. Mustard seed, I like it. The other great thing is that mustard seed powder, another reason why you should add it to your food is that it's a great source of other trace minerals. So you've got a decent amount of magnesium in it, zinc. It's a very healthy spice. Um, but I'm taking this home with me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite good for you. And actually mustard itself is a cruciferous vegetable. I don't know if you guys have tried mustard greens in the uh, supermarket, but it's a very good source of um, fiber. I love mustard as a, a condiment because of the health benefits. Don't have to worry about calories. Mustard seed, it's in my arsenal now. Nice. Max, two for two, buddy. Two for two. Home runs. Yeah. Two for two. Now, the last one I'm a little more worried about, though. Okay. All right. What is this? Well, the last one is called biltong. Now, you might not have heard of biltong before, but it's very popular in southern African countries. Like in Johannesburg, they're all about this stuff. Okay. Um, biltong is basically a healthier take on beef jerky. So beef jerky is usually smoked and it uses, it has a lot of sugar in it typically. Okay. You'd be surprised by how much sugar is in beef jerky. Biltong, to make biltong, all you require generally is coriander, salt, and pepper. And it's air dried. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Really? This is, this is good. It's also, they use uh, vinegar to cure the meat as well. So you're gonna notice a kind of a sharp vinegar flavor. There's a vinegar flavor. Yeah. Dr. Vinegar's... Yeah. I am pleasantly surprised. You Man. did good, Max. I won today? <laughs> you Whoa. did good. That makes me so happy. You know you win when your hosts have either eaten everything you've given them <laughs> or they're taking it home with them. <laughs> Max, honestly, these are three Killer. great tips. Thank you. Everyone out there, it's, it's all about trying new I'm things. <laughs> nice.